Here at Buttprint Studios, we have become very familiar with Narco games. They've released such classics as Sad City 42 and AI Dummy. Say what you want about their games, they are entertaining. I think I'll take advantage of some recent sales and I will go through and buy their entire catalog because I don't know about you, but I'm kind of enjoying going through these games. Obviously, I'm not going to cover them all in one video because that'll be a lot for anybody to deal with in one sitting. Though after I've given each game the attention they deserve, I may cut it all together into one major compilation or something like that. We'll see how we go. We will go through game by game before finishing on Valica Story, which uh, seems to be their magnum opus. Look at this. Well, I'm trying to point to things on the screen and a video plays, but you know, look at that explosion and I'll zoom in on it and shit. Anyway, I'm going to go buy their games and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, first cab off the rank is Karma Bullet Heritage. You play for Karma the Younger, the son of Karma Bullet. Your father was killed by the magician Lesgin. You must find and take revenge on Lesgin. Your awaits an incredible journey. All else aside, I'm not sure I could ever describe avenging my murdered father as an incredible journey. It gets a pass here because he was murdered by a wizard. About this game. The main character had an unusual dream. He is trying to consult his neighbor of this. It turned out that he was the heir of a hero named Karma Bullet, and he had a long-time enemy, Marga Lesgin. The magician enslaved the world and killed Karma Pulu. Karma Jr. goes to sort out all the riddles and signs that his father left behind. Uh, is it Karma Pulu or Karma Bullet? I mean, when it's literally the name of the game, you would probably think that it would be consistent. But anyway, let's move on. Oh, and now we get to hear the plot. In Karma Bullet Heritage, you play for Karma's son. He had a dream and something went wrong. To go further in the story, you will have to think about this or that. Learn from the characters what to do and where to go, and they will prompt you the way you want. Well, I'm sold. He had a dream and something went wrong. What more explanation could you need for a plot? Features. Puzzles. Atmospheric music. Quest system. Shooter. Humor is combined with horror. Various levels. And various opponents and different weapons. In a world where everything's trying to be Breath of the Wild, having various levels is definitely a breath of fresh air. And I'm really looking forward to the atmospheric music. I'm sick of music in games these days having nothing to do with what's going on. So be prepared for this game to give us a masterclass in how to match music with a scene. Anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, I'm immediately struck by the fact that there's no options, but before we get to that, how hard is it to line someone's neck up with their, with a suit? <laughs> but I am intrigued by this face. I am glad, I really hope this is the protagonist because that would be amazing. Um, I don't know what cars have to do with anything. So in the about, we've got flashlight, we've got shift to run, we've got AWSD to do a backflip and the numpad to talk. I guess any button on the numpad to talk, cool. Uh, and we got a color rendering of this guy now, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's, let's screw it, just jump into it. 30 years ago. Somewhere in Dagestan. Cool, so I'm just going to mention that this took like three minutes to load. And clearly you can see why. <laughs> anyway, let's let's explore our house. That's a sick little stove. They should have mini appliances in houses. How big are freaking stoves? They don't need to be as big as they are. Mini stoves make sense. He has amazing taste in art. Uh, let's check out the computer. Door is locked. This is not a door, son. F, okay. Also, I'm I'm noticing uh, AWSD are not making me do a backflip, so that sucks. There's a key. Um, okay, I can't use the computer. What time is it? Okay, so it's five o'clock, and 
That is the worst bed I've ever seen. Is my floor just dirt? No. <laughs> Silly me, it's snake skin. Um, Alright, well, we can leave the house. What the hell? Why is there a camera there? Am I a streamer or is this like a FBI setup? But also, like, look at this town. Where the fuck is there a camera? Um, interesting. And then, like, the power lines. What is happening? You had my curiosity, but now you have my attention. Hello, sir. How are you? Oh, yeah. This is the number pad to talk. Which which number on the number pad? Clicking a nothing. Maybe whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, well maybe I can't talk to him. Hi Cleopatra. So I'm pretty sure that that means fish in Russian. <laughs> So I'm pretty sure that means meat in Russian. Well, you're looking pretty suave. You're like the dude... Shut up about low FPS in this game, man. No, I don't. Is that the doctor from uh, Goldeneye? Hey, bro. Not even going to talk to me. He's too high class. Okay, bread. What is hap- Are you a zombie? Well, he's just... Shadow. Even the- Even the light can't lighten him up. Okay. Whoa, what's this guy doing? Hello? Hello? Why is there a dumpster here? Can I go in a house? What's this? No. Slippery dip? Can I go- can I partake? Mm. <laughs> okay. What are you? Chinatown. What the fuck? What about you? You don't look dodgy. What are you doing over here with the cinder blocks? What the? Oh. Okay, I'm doing a take breather. Okay, let's continue. Hello, sir. Whoa, what the hell? You're way too happy. Something's going on in this town. Something just doesn't seem quite right. What about you? Just a wizard. Oh, okay. Yeah, here's just the public bathroom, I guess. Okay, though. well, there was a key in the toilet, so... I don't know what people around here have been eating. What's in this trash? They've invented plastic and glass. Apparently. Strange world. Hello, sir. What are you? What are you? I'm not gonna lie, I would watch that anime. <gasps> Success! It's got a surveillance camera. What the hell? Whoa, what are you? Jesus Christ. Are you, are you good? Hey, man. Should I, you should rest up and get better. So I'm pretty sure the subtitles didn't match up there. Uh, and I really wish I knew what was going on. I just remembered that we're meant to be avenging my dad that's being killed by a wizard. I did see a wizard earlier. But I, other than that, I don't see any connection to anything that's happening right now. Let's move on. Key. We found the key. We can. We're uncovering the secrets. Let's go. Oh, shit. I can see why this was locked. 
Wow. Okay, there's more to it. I thought that this was just the game. Cool. This took a dark turn. Okay, at least we've got an AK-47 now. Is that like a man dog? I don't want to fight man dogs. Okay, well that's kind of less scary. I mean, you got like... Ripped apart body. Ooh, ammo. You've got ripped apart body. Ripped apart body. Mattress. What is that? NASA. Down the dark corridor. Okay. Are these bad guys? Whoa, there's a lot. Do I sneak? Uh oh. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna walk this way. Oh, good. It's like a maze, is it? Great. I love maze. I'm not scared anymore. I'm just pissed off that I'm in a maze. Okay, cool. No. 14. No percentage. No blah blah blah. Is this meant to be a puzzle? Oh, man. I'm totally lost. Okay, what's that? What the hell is that? What the fuck is that? Gargoyles? Alright. What? I, <laughs> what the hell? Sonic? Oh. Oh shit. Was that like a Resident Evil zombie? Well, good distraction. If he planned out that trap, he's a fucking genius. Because I never suspected that. What's this say? Oh god. Why does everything have to explode? 89? 1489? I hate mazes. Like that. Okay. We have to go down here, I think. This is the dumbest zombies I've ever seen in my life. You'll never take me alive! Oh, 1489, was it? Hell yeah! That actually worked. Whoa. We've... Disguising all of this stuff in a medieval town? That was genius. I mean, they overlooked some things when they were disguising things as a medieval town. <laughs>братух ну извини не обновил еще игру подожди новой версии скоро все будет I don't know what that was, but I'm going to proceed. Okay, apparently whales now. Huh? <laughs> okay, so it turns out that that was the game. I'm not sure what I just experienced or what even happened, but the ending made it all worth it. I gotta wonder if that was the guy that- no, that can't be the guy that killed my father. I don't know what happened to that bit of the story. Maybe that was his dad. That- I'm gonna say that's what happened. That was his dad. The dad was just hiding in a bunker. Karma Bullet lives. Uh, was it worth the 80 cents I paid for it? I feel like my life is richer having played that. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see me go through the Narco Games catalogue. Until then, Brian, stop picking your nose.